my name is Carrie Walker and welcome back to my channel or welcome here if you are new and if you are you should totally subscribe anyway so today's video is a little bit different it has been a long time coming I have been filming this video since like May it's been a while so basically I decided that as a fun quarantine thing it would be really cool to write letters to my friends I actually got this inspiration from two of my friends Nikki and Quinn so shout out to them and they just like posted on their Instagram stories like hey send me your address if you want me to write a letter to you it's just a great way to stay connected to your friends with all of this like social distancing going on and also I just love the written language like you guys know me I am obsessed with journaling so I just thought it would be a really cool video to make where I just kind of show you guys the process of writing letters to my friends and everything and hopefully it can inspire you guys to maybe do the same and if you do you should totally post a picture on your Instagram story or something and tag me in it so I can see it or just like DM me a picture I would love to just know that you guys are like writing letters I feel like it is such a beautiful art form that has been totally like lost in the technological society that we have now so in this video, there's going to be me writing the letters, the process of how that went, how I typed it all up first on my computer and then wrote it all out, and the trials and tribulations of that, how long it all took, how many letters I wrote, how many pages I wrote. I also decided to make my own envelopes when I sent it to everyone. So I show how I make them as well in case you guys are wanting to do the same. But before I go and show it to you guys later in the video, I will say that the size of the envelope definitely is important. I found that out the hard way, so stay tuned for that later in the video if you want to know why. And then I also included different reaction videos of like a bunch of my friends that got the letters. Not everyone sent in a video, but I basically just told them like, hey, you know, if you feel comfortable or if you wanted to like send in a reaction video of you getting your letter. I gave them like no instruction really because I just wanted them to do whatever they wanted with it. So some people like read the letter out loud, some people just showed the envelope envelopes those were like really sweet and just so heartwarming to see their reactions and then lastly a few of my friends also wrote me back and so I had my own reaction in that and then there's like a couple other things of like my extravaganza to the post office and hand delivering my letters and everything <laughs> you, you'll see it just seriously is such like a fun video that I have never seen before and so I'm just like really excited to show this to you guys so without further ado let's get on with the video Today is finally the day that I write all the letters to my friends. So I ended up putting on my Instagram story, it's a private account with all of my friends, like the questions thing where I asked them to tell me their addresses if they wanted me to send them a letter. And so I got 28 responses, which means I will be writing 28 letters, which is a lot of letters. I ended up actually typing it up on my computer first, just because like that makes more sense in my mind, because I can like type it up, get everything out that I wanted, and then I could copy it down on the paper. I tried to make them all personalized because like, I don't know, I feel like that's much more special to get a nice letter than something that says the same in every single one. Not that they would know, but whatever. There's definitely some overlap obviously, but for the most part I tried to keep them all different and like special for each person. I typed up 21 pages total. So there's 28 letters and all of them combined are 21 pages typed. Which is a lot because usually like a typed page is like two give or take pages of like handwritten writing. So if I wrote 21 typed pages then it could be around 42 handwritten pages. That's going to take a long time. But I am ready. I am prepared. I'm going to sit down and I'm going to time myself and see how long it takes me just to write it all out. Not even like thinking of what to say because I already know what I want to say. But just like copying it down and writing it. Okay, so update. I stopped the timer. It's been 30 minutes exactly, and I have only written two letters. <laughs> I've written two of 28 and it's been 30 minutes and my hand is hurting. I was wanting to do this all in one sitting, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. Cause if I'm doing two every 30 minutes, that's like seven hours of writing. And that's like if I keep this consistent speed, which I don't think I'm gonna do because my hand is gonna be dying. So, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just gonna keep going for now, see how it goes. And I might have to like finish this tomorrow or another day. Okay. 
Okay, you guys, so I'm officially a very horrible person because I have spent way too long pushing this off, but I have finally, at long last, finished writing all of the letters. Also, all of this stuff right here, these are like all of the binders that I have accumulated over the years at my school that I have recently graduated from. Graduated, if you even consider it a graduation. Class of 2020, woo! Anyway, so I'm done writing the letters. I wanted to tell you guys how long it took me to do all of it. So for 28 letters, it took me a total of seven hours and 10 minutes, exactly. Whew. That is so much. I feel so terrible because I've been like pushing it off, like finishing writing them for so many days. And at this point, it's been like a month since I first like asked my friends to send me their addresses to like let me write them a letter. So they're probably like thinking that I'm never gonna send these letters. I don't know. But I'm gonna try and get them out soon. But I also for some reason decided that it would be like a fun idea to make handmade envelopes. So that is what we're doing now. So I'm going to make some handmade envelopes. So I have all of this craft paper. It's very like a lot, it's a lot. And I never have actually gotten to like use it for anything. So I thought that it would be perfect to make envelopes out of all of this paper. So I've actually already gone through and like looked at the different papers that I have and selected out like 28 different pieces of paper that remind me of each friend. So I like kind of tried to like match it up to each person. So here is all of the paper that I chose out. Now I get to make a bunch of envelopes. Okay guys, really quick I wanted to show you all these letters letters I wrote. I flipped them upside down because like I feel like it'd be weird to like read them all but it's 40 whole pages of different letters. It took a long time and I'm excited to send them all and so the seven hours was like for all of those letters and not including the time that it took me to like type it all out. It was like 21 pages typed out I think. Yeah that's just that's a lot of writing but anyway so this is the first letter that I'm gonna be making. This is the one that I'm doing for my roommate. So Laura if you're watching this hi. This piece of paper just like made me really happy and it like made me think of her so this is the one that I'm making for her and this is the first envelope I'm making and it's been a while since I've made envelopes so if I mess it up I'm sorry Laura this is the guinea pig test run so the first step that's kind of optional that I like to do is I take it and like fold it diagonally and I just make little indentations as like a guideline I don't know if you guys can see like I'm not folding it all the way I'm just doing it enough to like make a noticeable crease but like not too much you know maybe if I put something else here <laughs> it'll stay focused you'll need some tape by the way so then you're gonna do the same to the other corner and again this step is optional but I just like to do this just as like a little guideline you can see that like there's like a little indentation of an X and then so here's my paper ta-da and something to know is that when it's in the envelope it's basically gonna be faced like this so like the envelope is gonna be like this here and then and everything else is like folded around it so like it's not gonna be right side up it's gonna be diagonal so like you can choose like either this way or this way and I think I like this way I'm going to take it flip it over and in that little like indentation X plus sign that we have you're going to meet the corners in the middle like so and you want to try and make it as straight as possible like these here so like this line here should be a 90 degree angle with this like it should be perpendicular. So then you're just gonna flatten it down, do the same to the other side, and you can even like take some like scissors to really get it down, which I'll probably do in a second, but just for the tutorial purposes, you are then going to go ahead and fold this up. And so what I like to do is, you know, kind of measure it out. This I usually keep about like an inch, but like you can make it go further up if you want, so it's not as like of a square envelope. So I, I guess I kind of go up like an inch or two. And also another thing too, is that the indentation line, the like that indentation should be right here so you can line up this point with that so you know it's not like crooked or anything. And then you're gonna go ahead and flatten that down. And so you can already see that it's turning into an envelope. And so I do a couple extra steps just to make it more secure. So actually, let me go get the scissors now. Okay, so just like, flattening this out so that the edges are super flat and it's not too bulky. Then do the same here. So now it's like more flat. It's definitely not super even as you can see like this isn't 100% perfect and if you're wanting it to be you can use like a ruler to make the measurements like super good but you know I think this is good enough. But so what I like to do is here I fold this down and I kind of just line it up 
to where this paper meets. So you can see here is where the fold is. And I just bend it down, ta-da. But then what I like to do, just so it doesn't like, you know, fall apart, cause it's not even, is I take a piece of tape. Okay, so I take the piece of tape and I just tape these two together like so, but you don't want it to stick to the back of the envelope. So when you then take this part and fold it down, you can see that this is then going to fold down and cover the tape. But also, if you want it to be extra secure, you could even put like a piece of tape here and then fold it over and then put, like press it down here. So, ta-da. So now you can see that we have this, but this also is not secure. This, we don't like this. I'm gonna go ahead and put some more tape. We don't want our envelopes falling apart because wouldn't that be so sad if someone like got a letter from you and they got this really pretty envelope but the letter had fallen out in the process of being sent to their house. That would just be so sad. Also, I think it's so cool that I'm like sending a letter to my roommate because I actually haven't met her yet in person. We've just been talking and texting and FaceTiming a lot. So it'll be cool to like give her something physical from me. And then the last step is to fold this down. And you wanna make sure that these corners are nice and clean and ta-da. And you can do the same thing here with the scissors. And then bam, you have your own handmade envelope. And then you can tape it down or maybe like do like a little sticker. I have some stickers that would not match. This also wouldn't match, but just like to get ideas of what you can do with it. You can sticker it closed, you can use more tape, whatever you want. For now, I'm going to get on with making 27 more envelopes. Okay guys, so it is the next day. I wanted to show you guys. So for the past day, I've had all my letters here, or the envelopes, and I have them like sitting under my yearbooks just to like kind of flatten them out a bit. So let's see. Oh yeah, nice. Okay, so we have all of these envelopes. We have like a bunch of different kinds and I'm like really kind of excited about them. I just think it's so much fun like that they're all different and like decorated or not decorated, but just like their own little style instead of just having like white envelopes. That's just so fun. Okay, so now all that I have to do is put the letters into the envelopes for each person. And then I also need to put the addresses and stuff on it. Okay, so really quick, I just wanted to like show you guys all of the different patterns of all of the envelopes. I laid them all out on my floor just so you can like see them. I just think these are so cute. Like some of these patterns, I mean like all of them actually are just like so freaking cute cute like seriously isn't it just like so much more exciting to get one of these envelopes in the mail rather than just like a plain blank white boring envelope comment down below which one of these is your favorite they're just all so cute i think i like all of them i don't know what do you guys think okay but then actually so i went ahead and cut these up i measured out these scraps of paper and basically it's gonna go on the front of each card so this will go here and then this will go here and then have a stamp in the top which i have and i'll get those in a little bit so i'm gonna do these for all of them i think just to be like consistent even though like this you know is already pretty white it'll just make it easier for the male man or lady to read I am so excited this is so exciting oh my gosh I want to apologize in advance to all of my friends that I'm sending these out to because it's long overdue I've been spending a long time making this I don't even remember like the clips that I filmed in this video because it's been like a month so sorry <laughs> So now all I gotta do is put on these stamps. I went out and bought stamps the other day and oh my gosh, stamps are so expensive. Why are stamps so expensive? These are 40 stamps and it cost me $22 for 40 stamps. That's so expensive, what the heck? Anyway, so I got these stamps. Actually, that's kind of funny, 40 stamps and I wrote 40 pages. It's only 28 letters, but of the 28 letters, it's 40 pages total. I don't know if I said that before, but yeah, kind of weird coincidence. I don't want to show you guys the addresses, but I have all of the envelopes here, which is so exciting. Like, ah, 
this is just, I love holding this all. It's so cool. I'll show you actually the front of one, but I'll like blur out the information. But so this is what it looks like. Um, and then of course the stamp is gonna go in the top right corner right here. So pretty cool. Okay, now I gotta stamp them all and then I can put them in the mailbox for tomorrow. Oh shoot, I also have to like tape these closed. So I guess I will see you guys tomorrow when I'm putting them in the mailbox. Ah! Okay guys, I lied. Um, I'm back right now. So my mom just came into my room and told me that apparently the post office has like regulations to the sizes of the envelopes that you can send. So basically I can't put them in my mailbox and I have to instead go to the post office, hand deliver the envelopes and pay more money for them to get like a special stamp or something on it because the envelopes are too big. You guys, this is what happens when I try to do nice things. I always I always go above and beyond, and then because of it, it just doesn't work out as planned, and then I have to do even more to make accommodations for it. But it's okay, it's fine. I love my friends, so it's fine, but like, ah, this is so frustrating. Anyway, it's fine. We are now on our way to the post office. My other brother, Nate, is driving. Stop. <laughs> He's turning 20 in three days. Two days. Two days, is today the eighth? Yes. Oh my gosh, today's the eighth. Okay, well he's turning 20 in two days, which is insane. And then also I have my dog here, Jake, with us. He loves car rides. Got all of the envelopes. I guess I'm just gonna like go in and pay more money to send them. Got my UVA mask, oops, it's upside down. That I'm gonna be putting on in a second because we're about to be there. I'm really excited. I just like hope everything goes smoothly. I feel like so bad though because things are starting to open up and I meant to get these letters out literally like a month ago. I could just kind of wish that I got them out sooner. I feel really bad. <laughs> so I'm gonna go do that and I guess I will let you guys know how it goes. Oh yeah, look at this mask, so cool. It's not bad. It's pretty cool. He, he goes to FSU, so of course he's not gonna like the UVA. <laughs> also, if you haven't seen my college decisions reaction video, where obviously I got into UVA, but if you wanna see where else I got into and the ones that I got rejected from, then make sure to go watch that video. Anyway, say goodbye to the letters. Ah! Okay, you guys, I'm home now. And after spending a million more dollars on the letters, they are officially in the mail. I had to get like special little stickers to put on them so that they can send the larger envelope. I felt really bad though because the guy at like the front desk who was doing it, like he had to like put them on individually, like print out the new like sticker to put it on and he put it on all 28 envelopes. Some people were like waiting behind me and it took like 15 minutes for him to do it all. I'm really appreciative of it and and he gave me the longest receipt I've ever received in my life. I don't think you guys are ready for this. Literally, look at how long this is. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I need to keep this forever. I don't know, this is like, whew, oh my gosh. Anyway, so letters are now in the mail and that is such a huge weight off my chest. I'm so glad to finally have them done and I'm really excited for people to receive them. And a lot of my friends too said that they will send reaction videos of them receiving their letters. So I guess the next thing you guys will be seeing is them receiving their letters. I really hope they love them, I'm so excited. <laughs> So I just checked the mail and Carrie's letter came in and I'm super excited to open it and see what she said. I'm gonna go read this and send her a letter back. Carrie, I love you. Hi Carrie, I just got your letter in the mail. As you can see, I already opened it and read it, but I just finished reading it and it is so nice. I appreciate how you like took the time to write like a nice, genuine, thorough letter. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I was really excited to see I got your letter and it was just so nice to see like what you've been up to, how you've been killing it on YouTube, I see. <laughs> it also was like weirdly perfect timing because last night I started hanging like cards and letters on my wall and then today I got your letter in the mail. So I'll be hanging your letter on my wall shortly. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for writing me and I will we'll make sure to write you back. So be on the lookout because I will be sending you something soon. Hi, Carrie. I finally got your letter. I think letters is so exciting. I guess I'm gonna read this out loud. Hey, I guess I will. <laughs> Hi, Heidi. You seriously are such a powerhouse with everything that you do, and I'm so envious of how stunning and incredibly talented you are. I'm so bad at accepting compliments, but like, thank you very much. If I didn't have my YouTube channel, I think I would literally go insane. I love your YouTube channel. Channel. I'm subscribed. I watch every video. Oh my gosh, this is the cutest thing ever. Thank you so much. If this makes it on YouTube, hello all of Carrie's wonderful subscribers. You should like this video because um, Carrie deserves it because I know she works super hard on her videos. All right, bye-bye. Carrie, I got your letter. Thank you. 
by Carrie's blog. I just got my letter in the mail and like, it's so cute. I'm pretty sure that she like made this envelope herself, which is like so cute. So thank you, Carrie. I'm gonna go ahead and open it and read it and then come back with my reaction. So uh, I just read my letter and it is so sweet. She wished me happy birthday. Thank you, Carrie. It really was one of the best birthdays I've had. This is such a sweet letter. Thank you so much, Carrie. This just totally made my day. So thank you so much. I'm keeping it forever. And yeah, mwah. Your letter just came in the mail. I'm really excited to open it because it's so cute. Oh my gosh, you wrote so much. Laura, May 2020, my roomie. It's so hard to believe that we're going to be living together. <laughs> At least we better be cough, cough, global pandemic. <laughs> I'm not gonna be a happy camper if fall semester at UVA turns into zooming online, sitting at home, dot, dot, dot. Keeping my fingers crossed, me too. Regardless, I'm so happy that I found such a sweet and kind roommate. Oh, I love you. <laughs> and I can't wait to actually get to meet you in person. Anyway, I hope you're doing well and I'd love to hear back from you. We should also FaceTime again soon. Lots and lots of love. Carrie Walker. Aw, oh, this was so cute. I'm gonna put this in my memory box of letters and such. Or maybe for now, because the envelope is so pretty, I'm gonna put it right here on my bulletin board. Well, thank you so much for this letter, and I'm so excited for EVA. We're gonna have the best time. Okay, I love you. See you soon. Okay, I just got this letter from Carrie. It's so pretty. I love, like, the whole vibe of it, you know? It's, like, so pretty. Okay, I'm excited to open it. <laughs> oh my goodness. The unboxing. Oh my gosh, it's like a whole note. That was so sweet. I'm so glad you're doing well, Carrie. I love it. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. I love this idea. I have to like do this now. Love you, girl. I miss you so much, and we definitely do need to get bagels again. Okay, bye. Hi, I'm Shaylee. I'm not sure if you need to know that or anything, but I did just get my letter from Carrie, and she asked me to film it. So I don't have time to open it right now, but this is what it looks like. It's absolutely gorgeous, and I'm so excited to open it later. Okay, so it's been a few hours, and now I'm going to open the letter. It's so pretty. I think that she homemade the envelope which is like just superior, but Carrie's amazing, so you know. Aww. Oh, Carrie's handwriting is so pretty. This is so cute. This makes me so, so happy and I love her so much. So I will definitely be writing back to her because Carrie's just amazing and I love her so much. Hello to Carrie's YouTube channel and her subscribers and hello Carrie, I love you. I have been patiently waiting for this letter. <laughs> the first question is how are you? How have you been? I'm doing great. All right, next question. What have I been up to? Just vibing. I'm in the process of moving. Started working out, prepping for Air Force ROTC in college, hanging with the girls, going on spontaneous adventures. You have been grinding on the YouTube channel. I watch all the videos. <laughs> You're welcome for the UVA cupcake. <laughs> That was really sweet. This made my whole entire day. Carrie, you're gonna do amazing in college. You're gonna thrive. You're one of the smartest people that I know. And I miss English with you so much. And I love you and thank you for the letter. Handwriting, 10. Presentation, 10. Homemade car, 10. Thanks, Carrie. Yo, what's up? I uh, just want to say I got a letter from the real Carrie Walker. See, look, just Carrie Walker. Yep. And cool. Hey Carrie, I'm just getting to your letter now. Thank you so much for writing it. I haven't read it yet, but I'm gonna do like do that now. And the sleep schedule thing's really hitting me, man. <laughs> First of all, thank you so much. This is really, really nice. Thank you for this. This is actually this is really this is a really nice envelope. Thank you, Carrie. This is really nice. Fixing the sleep schedule. It's not gonna happen for me. <laughs> Shaylee wrote me a letter and I'm really excited. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Shaylee is so artistic. I seriously, oh my goodness. Okay, let me read this. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love Shaylee. Oh my gosh, that just made me so happy. This one is from my friend Ryan. Look how he wrote my name. It's so cute. Rydell, I love you. Oh my gosh, he sent a picture. Wait, let me read. Okay. Secret handshake. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, your birthday's the 17th. Shoot, that was yesterday. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know that. <gasps> Okay, I'm wishing you a happy birthday like immediately after this. Look how cool this is. Look, that's so cool. I love that you included that. I'm gonna I'm gonna take this in my journal. 
this makes me so happy. I love writing letters. It just made me realize how much I miss everybody. And I just, Rai, thank you. I wanna give you a big hug, okay? <laughs> so I just got my friend Catherine's letter in the mail today and I'm really excited. Oh my gosh. Wait, this is so exciting. Oh my gosh, she made me a bracelet. Wait, okay. <laughs> I wanna read, let me read, let me read. Oh my gosh, you heard a lot. Catherine, okay. Oh my gosh, you and your mom watch my videos. Oh, hi. Hi, Catherine and your mom. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so relatable. I've been up to everything and nothing at the same time. Me too. I made you a morning shower. Oh my gosh. Wait, actually? Ah, oh, come to the light side. Yes. I love the friendship bracelet. Ooh, it's like rainbow. Oh, I love it. Look how pretty this is, guys. Ooh. I'm gonna put it on right now. I'm gonna tie it in a bow. I love it. Okay, wait, let me keep reading. Katie, oh, I love you so much. Guys, I wish more people wrote letters because it is such a beautiful thing and it is an art form that is dying and we need to bring it back because it is it's just like, <sighs> this is so sweet. I don't know about you, but I would way rather get a handwritten letter like this than just like a text paragraph or an email because it just is like, mm, this is something more tangible and like, I just cherish it so much. So thank you so much, Catherine. Okay, hey guys, so I look like a mess right now, but I just got a letter from my friend Nikki. It's so cute. It's so pretty and then she even put like a little note like on the back saying thank you to the postal workers that's so sweet so nikki also was one of the two people that like inspired me to do all of this so oh i just love her so much she has written me back like three or four times now because we started like writing back and forth before i sent letters to everyone oh my gosh she is such a phenomenal artist i love her creativity look at that she did that she drew that that is so beautiful holy crap she wrote so much Oh, I love Nikki so much. I adore this girl so much. She has such a beautiful soul. I'm literally uploading this video tomorrow, but I just got a letter from my friend Olivia. So I'm gonna really quick like open it and edit it up so I can get this in the video for tomorrow. And if any other friends send me any letters after I upload the video, I'm sorry, but it's not gonna make the video because I really need to get the video up. Whoa, you're lifeguarding? Olivia, what the heck? I can never... Aww. <laughs> Olivia, actually, you mentioned about like college plans. They just announced today, UVA said that they're gonna be pushing move-in back by two weeks, which is horrible. But there's only so much we can do. Anyway, thank you so much for your letter. Also, I love the envelope. Pink is my favorite color, so that's amazing. And your stamp. Guys, look at that. It's literally a T-Rex stamp. Is that not the coolest thing? Ah! Okay, you guys, so I think that's gonna be it for this video. I actually have still been writing Nikki and a couple other friends. Here's Nikki's letter. I haven't put it in the mail yet, but I just decorated the cover. I resorted back to normal envelopes just because, you know, I don't wanna have to deal with that sizing problem that I had. I just think it's so fun to stay connected to your friends like this. So I totally encourage you guys to maybe give it a try, try it out, and let me know what you think. I know it's kind of old school, but I feel like like, honestly, it could totally be a beautiful thing to bring back. And also, I personally just love like having fun envelopes or like decorating them just because like I feel like that gives something a little special for the post office workers to look at and also just for your friend to see when they get it. It's just like really exciting. This whole process was actually just so fun to bring me back to as well because my dad has been deployed a couple times and during those times we've always written letters to him. So it was just like a really fun thing to get back into since it was a reminder of those times when I wrote to my dad and he wrote back and it was just like super fun and I still have all of those letters in a box so knowing that I have these letters from my friends and that they have letters from me as well it's just cool to think about the fact that we'll all you know hopefully cherish and keep them for years to come just like I did with the letters from my dad when he was deployed so I just think it's like so special and so fun and like again you guys should totally try it out if you are interested anyway I really really hope that you guys enjoyed today video if you did go ahead and give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i love each and every one of you i hope you all are having a wonderful day stay safe stay happy stay healthy and i will see you all in my next video bye guys